Call the Honourable David Cunliffe, five minutes. Speaker, I take a short support on behalf of the Labor Party, the Regulatory Systems Commercial Matters Amendment Bill. Mr Speaker, this is an innovative omnibus bill, uh, something that wraps up a number of small changes across three different categories in the commercial matters, building and housing and workplace relations areas. And it stands alongside the statute's amendment bill and the regulations confirmation and validation bill as uh, three different processes by which the government can do good housekeeping on making sure that regulations are updated, modern, effective and sunsetted where they are no longer useful. I think it's a very important uh, thing uh, in order for a regulatory system uh, to be of good repute and useful, uh, it has to be kept up to date. Uh, regulations are, if you like, like hedges, you have to keep them trimmed, otherwise they just grow into bushes. And uh, so we want to see well trimmed uh, but effective regulations that are doing the job that they should be doing. Uh, sir, the process for, if I take first the Commercial Matters Amendment Bill, one of the three, is a little bit, having said that, unusual in that it seeks to give effect to some of the recommendations of the New Zealand Productivity Commission's June 2014 report on regulatory institutions and practices. That is, the government's had over two years to get it from the publication of the report to the draft to the House, and here we are talking about it today. Sir, but the House has only had a couple of days to consider the material that's here. And there seems to be something a little bit out of kilter, if you'll forgive me, of a two-year time frame for the government to do its work and then slamming it through the House process. We expect, of course, that the material here will be considered by select committees in detail. Uh, we support that process. We look forward to the feedback from the committees. Um, I'm sure all uh, current and former ministers, however, would share one rule of thumb. Whenever an official comes in and says, Minister, don't worry much about this, it's just a purely minor and technical amendment, it pays to have a really good look at it because they're not always minor and technical. Sometimes uh, dressed up in that technical language can be quite profound and important changes. So I'm sure that the Select Committee uh, will give uh, due uh, regard, due diligence on a number of the matters here. And some of the acts that these provisions in the Commercial Matters Amendment Act touch upon are all very, very important uh, acts. The Companies Act 93, the Financial Markets Conduct Act 2013, the Financial Markets Authority Act 2011, the Friendly Societies and Credit Unions Act 1982. So they're, they're not trivial pieces of legislation that it cross-references to, and the committee will need to assure itself that the changes are useful. And I have to say the, the bill explanatory note is clothed in pretty general language. Try this one for size. In relation to the Friendly Societies and Credit Unions Act, the bill promotes innovation, efficiency and accountability and removes unnecessary operating and compliance costs. Well, that's good as far as it goes, but it doesn't tell you a hell of a lot about what it's actually going to do. It goes on to say by allowing friendly societies and credit unions to use electronic and postal voting. Fair enough. Um, but let's trace through the implications across the different bills. In relation to building and housing, Labor will support the bill to select committee to improve the regulation of these various pieces of legislation. Um, whenever I see the word efficiency, Mr Speaker, I get a little bit uh, suspicious, or at least my antennae go up, because I wouldn't want to see a drive for efficiency and the reduction of compliance costs to be an excuse for cutting corners, and we all know the hazards of that in the building industry. That's how we got leaky building syndrome last time. So let's make sure that when we're trimming the hedge, we don't take too many of the trees out because we need the hedge to be there. In terms of workplace relations, uh, there are some matters that touch upon uh, paid parental leave and the calculation of uh, early births and near-term babies uh, to ensure that they get their full, the parents get the full entitlement. We support that in principle. Um, we think the government's been pretty miserly and uh, pretty uh, focused on the PR rather than the substance, if I can put it like that, in relation to 
paid parental leave where they've done just enough to get the public off their back, but not enough to really do enough for parents. So if this bill gives us an opportunity to revisit that, we'd be very uh, happy indeed, sir. So uh, taken at face value, it's a tidy up piece of legislation. Uh, we'll be looking at it at the Select Committee. Uh, Labor supports it uh, to the Select Committee process. Thank you.